it's amazing that she made it for two days outside. It's, it's pretty impressive. Our top story at six tonight, Rain Peterson's recovery. Now we just checked that two year old remains in the hospital tonight. As you remember, the little girl disappeared Friday night. She was missing for nearly 48 hours before being found. And tonight we have brand new information on the investigation. Plus, we talked to a local doctor about how she was able to survive. It's our top story at six tonight. Investigators back checking out where two year old Rain Peterson was found three days prior. They still have questions and are working to get answers, just like us. When little Rain was rescued, all she was suffering from was dehydration and a low body temperature. But other than that, was doing just fine. That's why the question on everyone's mind is how did this little girl survive, especially after Saturday when it was raining and cold? We're shocked. We're shocked that she's okay. And Tim Schaffner isn't the only one. Even Rain's great grandparents, Dora and Richard Peterson, told reporters Tuesday that they were surprised when she was found alive. We had given up, just, and it's just, she's alive, she's well. I was amazed. I was like, oh my gosh, how, how she made it outside, it's, it's, it's a miracle. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy for their family, for sure. Dr. John Cox is a pediatrician. He says studies have shown children can show signs of hypothermia in as little as an hour and a half when they're wet and cold, even if it's 50 degrees outside. Being in wet clothes and cold exposed air and the wind all night long without anything blanketing her or keeping her sheltered, uh, I'm really surprised that she made it into the oak through the night without becoming severely, severely hypothermic. A pediatrician will, will tell you that there are um, you know, documented cases of children surviving extremes for long periods of time. But it's, it's the exception, not the rule. In North Bloomfield, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.